Hello friends, I'm Bernie the Horse Guy. Welcome to this week's episode of Better Horses TV. We're gonna go down to Lacing, Kansas, where we're gonna team up with Brad Lund, the great cow horse guy, roper, and get some tips from him and talk about his experience at the world's greatest horseman. We're also gonna go down to Guthrie, Oklahoma to the 2019 Timed Event Championships. You're gonna really like that. And you're gonna meet a young gun from New Mexico, Roddy Norris, who's a tremendous up and coming roper. Team Prefort's going to be with us down there that you're going to get a chance to meet. Also, you're going to get a chance to see R.E. Josie, a living legend that's going to be down there. And we're going to wrap it up with a hearty grub segment of a little bit of Cowboy Calzone by the famous Chef Tail Mark. So go get yourself a cup of coffee. Come on back and join us for some Better Horses TV. Wearability means unmatched lateral and torsional stability. The biggest wrap against rubber boots is their lack of support. As you can see, there is not much support in this competitor's boot. Dry shot boots feature a reinforced no torque tuck board and built in rigid shanks which provide vastly more stability. Dry shot performs like a rubber boot, wears like a hiking boot. To get yourself a pair of these dry shod boots, make sure you go to one of your Vanderbilts in your area. Hi, this is Pastor Frank with Open Range Fellowship, and I've been meditating on, on uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, where it says, God has not given us the spirit of fear and timidity. I know we're, we're fearful. We're in a fearful society. It seems like our country is being torn apart. It seems like things have gone too far to be brought back. But He didn't give us this spirit. He gave us the spirit of power, and love and self-control. That means we can handle it. We can rise up with Holy Spirit power and decide to love people that are unlovable and to take care of situations that don't look like they can be fixed. And, and we're going to do this in the name of Jesus. Let's just pray. Lord, help us to become the, the men and women that you want us to be. And we want this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, go out this week and do a mighty work for the Lord Jesus Christ. See you next week. Back in the saddle and out on the trail With Ernie the horse guy, now fun will prevail We'll meet the best horsemen under the sun Tip our hats to the ladies, keep the good Lord number one Ride along, sing your song This segment is brought to you by your independent Purina dealers. Hello friends, I'm Ernie the Horse Guy and welcome to Lundland. That's Brad Lund from Lacine, one of the top cow horse guys around. He's a finalist in the world's greatest horseman, a great roper. Brad, thanks for being a part of Better Horses and then we're taking time out and uh, we're Anytime, gonna get a right? chance to see your horse work and everything. And I'll tell you what, you just, uh, congratulations. I mean, you've had a whirlwind of a year and still going on. Yeah, it's been, uh, been very busy, feel very fortunate. I did get in the Derby and made the finals of the world's greatest again. So it was on a different horse. So that was kind of a personal feat for myself. What would you tell the folks about the world's greatest? They need to go down and see it, right? Oh yeah, it's a great event. Um, you know, it's a, it's a most, it's a, it's a struggle to, you know, uh, to make the finals. You know, you gotta, you gotta do the cutting, and then you rain, and you steer stop, and go down the fence, and they combine all your scores, and they take the top ten back to the finals. And you only have one horse. One horse, one bridle, and uh, that's it. That's really great. And you ha is, is it an invitation to get there, first of all, isn't it? Well, you, well you no, know, it costs like $3,000 to enter. If you think you can, there was 49 contestants, I believe, this year, maybe 50 or something. And you ended up seventh. I ended up seventh, yes. Well, that was really good. I tell you, it was really a neat deal in the cow horse and then, of course, Premier in the roping and everything. You, you pretty much do the all-around uh, when it comes to the Western events. Yeah, you know, I primarily focus on the, the team roping and the cow horse. And, uh, 
you know, someday I'd like to show it to cutting fraternity and you know, it's tough, isn't it? Oh, it's it's just like the world's greatest. You know, we could mix them all up and do it again. You're gonna there would be a different winner. I mean, there, all those guys and horses are capable of winning in on any day. It seems like you brought up the cutting deal. That's another. How many great horses don't oh, get past the first round? It's uh, everything's getting so specialized anymore, and people are are. Uh, the, the breed of the horse is getting so much better. Everybody's getting better uh, training. You know, it's just, it's extremely hard to win at anything. I tell everybody there's not a harder working trainer than Brad Lund. I tell you what, you've been, you work your tail off up before dark, I mean, before it's light and everything else like that. It takes a lot of hard work and good horses. Yeah, it's, and it's not just me. It's the people that help me. It's my family. It's, you know, if, I don't care what you're doing. If you're going to be successful at anything, you got to get up and get after it. You know, and you've got some great sponsors. I want to touch on them. Shorties, great hats they yeah, have there. Yeah. And, and you, you, you picked up some good sponsors, including one of my sponsors, and that's Purina. Yeah, yeah. And, and as far as that, you've even fed it when you weren't being sponsored. Yeah, I still feed uh, Omeline 200 all the time and uh, use uh, one of those deals that helps with their stomach. Oh, Outlast. Yeah, Outlast. Okay, do you, how you like it? Yeah, it work, works good. I put it on them when we haul them and stuff, so well, good. it helps the stress level. Well, I know they're proud to have you, you be using the products and everything and yeah. look for you to do more with them and everything from yeah. that standpoint. Uh, but, Brad, I tell you what, uh, give us some tips to these folks out there. you got a lot of uh, amateurs out there, people that just – want to be you know get it get involved with cutting or or cow horse give us some tips that you would give uh, no matter what age uh, as far as getting started so i would find somebody that's willing to you know give you some education learn about it you know whether it's cutting roping reining or anything and and find somebody that that is successful at what they're doing you like their program and and see if you can't get them to help you you know, you always to, in that. There's, there's really no room for egos in this. Oh, especially the, you know, cow horse. I always say, if you if you don't want it, like being humble, don't do it. So, and I think it's like that in anything. Well, you and, know. and I like the fact that you say go out and get help because that's what's neat about this industry is there's so many people out there that yeah. will help each other and go out and compete right next to you. That, yeah. Right after I that. Mean, uh, you know the 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 guy that's helped me the most, old Ron Rawls. He, you know, he's uh, he's he, you know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to do it. Okay, you talk about everybody has that one horse that kind of got 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 him going. <laughs> do you have do you have a horse that sticks out in your mind that you say this is the horse that really helped Brad Lund get over? Um, you, in the cow horse or the roping? The roping or all of it. I, you know, I would probably have to say, with all probability, probably got me started. The I mean, that I wish I had him back now. Uh, you know, uh, I won a lot on that horse, but I would like to try the cow horse on him now, knowing what I know now. Yeah. And I did it on him back back then. You know, that's been 10 years ago, 12, was, 13 years ago. He was one of a few Kansas super horses that yeah. you got uh, owned yeah. by you and Jim Holland. Yeah. Yeah, he was, uh, that horse kind of, I would have to say, put me on the map. Well, I'll tell you what, we, but you got a lot of great ones coming. You just oh. sold it, uh, that Roostar. That, that's a great, another yeah. great one to do. Yeah, I, had, I won the Super Horse on Roostar and Shiner's Diamond Jill, and and uh, we just sold a sold a, uh, a horse in Wickenburg, Arizona, a rope horse for, a significant amount of money. Yeah. I think I remember, I, I remember seeing that. But congratulations <laughs> yeah. on that. But we really appreciate you. Hope to have you more on better horses and some tips and everything yeah. like that. And uh, uh, and just to kind of keep up. We're, uh, thanks for letting us sit in and watch you work this horse. Tell us about this horse we're going to be uh, This horse is one of my three-year-olds for the for the Snaffle Bit fraternity. He's, uh, he's by Dual Ray, and he's out of a daughter of one-time Pepto. And... Uh, I'll work the flag on him for you yeah. a little bit. Well, thanks for being a part of Better Horses TV, yeah, Brad. Thank you for Look more to come back. Thank you. And doing a super job, Brad. Uh, we're talking about Brad Lund out at Lundland, Lacey, Kansas. Just doing a super job. Thanks, Brad. What do you get? 
when you bring together one of the biggest names in veterinary medicine with one of the most caring and committed teams of horse health experts in the industry? You get a vaccine portfolio known for its quality and safety. A pharmaceutical line you can rely on to help manage pain and support performance. You get the products, programs, and people of Merck Animal Health. You care about your animals and feeding them the best. And that's where Purina's local Kansas City dealers step in, providing you experience, knowledge, service, and advice. Purina feed dealers are people who believe in community involvement and who believe in you. They have a passion for the feed industry and are committed to helping customers unlock the potential of every animal. If you are looking for a trusted source for your animals, look no further than your local Purina feed dealer, your partner in animal care. Better Horses with Ernie Rodina is brought to you by your friends at Merck Animal Health. Took a trip to Guthrie, Oklahoma to the 2019 Cinch, we're talking about the Cinch uh, Timed Event Championships. And we're at the junior division today, and I'm here with who? Rowdy Norwood from Amarillo, Texas. It doesn't get much more cowboy than that. Yes, sir. <laughs> I could guess your song would be George Strait's Amarillo by Morning. Yes, sir, some nights when we're headed home. It is, but hey, we're so glad that you're here. You're pretty excited. Tell us about the event that's going on right here at the Lazy. It's pretty big for you. Yes, sir. This is the Junior Ironman, and they take the top ten cowboys out of the world to this. And it's, it's fun. It's good. What events are you going to be running? Head and heel and calf roping and bulldogging. How did you end up? I, I assume you go to high school rodeos. Yes, sir. I'm in Region 1 in, in Texas. I expect you had a pretty good year. Yes, sir. I was in the top 15 out of state finals, and I come back one out of short go. Well, I'll tell you what, we're proud of you. I'll tell you what, you're also part of a pretty special team we call Team CSI. Yes, sir. They took me up this year at the start of the year. Tell us what CSI pads have meant to you and your horse. They just keep me going down the road and keep my horses good and keep their back solid and make sure I can use them again. Now, you brought how many horses here with you today? I brought four with me. Let's talk about the events that you're going to be running those horses in. I'm in Bulldog and I got Shooter. He's my, my favorite horse. He's definitely the quickest. And then I got Smoke, my healing horse right here, and, and Mick, my calf horse, and then Joker, the head horse. I mean, you're, you're, you're loaded for the bear, it sounds like. Yes, sir. We're so excited to watch this event. This is a pretty big event. Now, the big guys, they go this afternoon. They're doing basically the same thing with the addition of Steer Trip. Yes, sir. What's it like to be in the same arena we're talking about as Trevor Brazil and stuff like that? It's a rush. It's definitely fun. It's cool. Any advice you'd like to give to the young riders out there going after this the goal that you must have set? Keep your heads down, keep your nose on the grindstone, and work hard. Thank you so much. We're talking about Rowdy Norwood from Amarillo, Texas. So glad that you could be a part of it. Thank you, sir. The first time riding the CSI saddle pad, I could tell that my horse had a lot more flexibility, had a lot more stop, and was a lot more sturdy to the saddle horn. It just looks comfortable for your horses and around their withers, it gives them a lot of room. The way my horses worked, after using the saddle pad one time, I feel like the saddle pads will work on all my horses, and they have a different design for every horse, and I feel like that's very important for performance horses. The CSI saddle pad, I feel, will help me keep my horses working better longer as I'm jackpot and roping a bunch of steers and I need my horses to last as long as they can and work at the best of their abilities. This segment is brought to you by CSI Saddle Pads. Hello friends, I'm Ernie the Horse Guy and welcome to this week's episode of Better Horses TV. We're here at the 2019 Cinch Time Event Championships and we're here with the Iron Man uh, week today. Yes. And we got Team Prepared here from Mount Pleasant, Texas. Yeah. I'll tell you what, just a, they got a great rodeo team and they got some great livestock equipment too. Here with Eddie. Eddie, tell us a little bit about your team you brought along with us. Well, you know what? These are my boys and my nephew. So my, my boys, Ethan, Landon, Colin, Aiden, Prefort, and uh, my nephew, Cohen Dunn. So we, we came up here to the Pro-Am to rope in the Pro-Am the first night, and the boys are helping out, and the team roping in the Junior Ironman. It, it's like a, uh, as far as a, a, a pit crew, 
Yeah, that's well, well, in the race, you got the pit crew down. You got how many competing in this event today? Well, they're not actually competing. They're helping the helping. Junior Ironman team. Oh, good deal. Event. So they're heading and healing. Now, I know, so you got, I know you got a real nice arena. You boys all uh, use that arena at home? Yes, sir. Tell us about your favorite event that you guys that we're going to be helping on today. Probably team roping. You guys still team rope quite a bit? Well, good deal. Now, tell us a little bit about your horse over here. Uh, my my horse is a 15 year old mare. She's she does everything I ask. And you head. And I head. So that's really good. And this is a this is another brother. Yes, sir. This lane. Okay, what? Pretty excited to be here. Yes, sir. We're real excited. I tell you what. What? what how neat it doesn't get any better, no, Eddie, than to be here with your family and everything else your family's grown you bet on that you and everything bet. so i've got four boys and a baby girl so. well i tell you what uh and uh, you got to be pretty proud about the presence preford has here at this oh arena. man yeah lazy arena right here and doing the the timed events and doing oh, the junior man. iron man it's just amazing see i think you should use my slogan for preford you know what that is no sir what's that that is preford is the oreo of livestock equipment <laughs> if you know there's only one oreo out there and they're the best. And so I tell you what, you got some great equipment uh, and uh, it really looks neat. And how, how great is it to be in the same arena, guys, as Trevor Brazil? It's pretty great. Did you get a chance to go up and talk to these guys? Yes, sir. Good deal. It's really neat. It's just kind of like a, a, a dream weekend with the Royals. Get down here with these guys. Yeah, they, these boys have been, they, they've been amazed, been impressed. We've been hanging out with the pros, the Trevor Brazil, all of them. So it's been great. Well, we're going to wish you luck today with your team. You'll be helping everybody. Talk about Team Prepert from Mount Pleasant, Texas, here at the 2019 Timed Event Championship. Yes, Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Ernie. Thank you very much. In a natural, free-roaming situation, horses graze nearly constantly throughout the day and night. When feeding horses in stables, it's ideal to try to mimic this feeding behavior. Horses in stabled conditions should be fed their hay so they can pick at it continuously between feedings. Visit our website at stanleeforage.com under Nutrition, then Nutritional Resources to help transition your horse from winter to spring in the coming weeks. Your buddy Ron once said he could install your ceiling fan. He couldn't. And that one time, Ron said another chili dog was a good idea? Yeah, it wasn't. So when Ron said you'd never afford a John Deere tractor, you knew better. Now, Ron does too. The E-Series. Legendary John Deere quality. Unexpected low price. Stop by and see Heritage Tractor at one of its nine locations for your John Deere and Featherlight trailer needs. HeritageTractor.com this segment is brought to you by CSI Saddle Pads. Hello friends, I'm Ernie the Horse Guy. Welcome to this week's episode of Better Horses TV. I'm here with a living legend here at the 2019, we're talking about the Timed Event Championships, the Cinch Timed Event Championships in Guthrie, Oklahoma. I'm here with a living legend, Mr. Mr. Roper himself. We're talking about R.E. Re. Jos uh, Josie and uh, from down at uh, Karnak, Texas. Re, you come to these every year, and uh, what a, what an honor it is to have you here at the um, Time to Vent Championships. Yeah, I really enjoy this Time to Vent deal. It's it's an on man deal. It's guys got to rope five head in one session, and uh, they go five times. So it's a endurance deal. Now we watched just got through watching the kids go. The youth go just a little while ago, but tonight, and we're here just a little bit. We're going to get like the I think it's the third round, right. third round of the uh, t uh, the Invitational. Yeah, that's true. And you got your eye on a couple people with that Calcutta, don't you? Oh yeah, I've already won a little bit. <laughs> well, you got to be good. Hey, we're in uh, CSI Saddle Pads, just a premier saddle pad company. We're in their booth and uh, just got a great great product here, and we appreciate that. And they're a big sponsor. Of this event themselves so just a really uh neat, you can go to csipads.com but uh re uh we've been doing your junior world for several years better horses purina's been down there yeah. and now what i want to talk about you're kind of up up in the ante and with your junior roping yeah we we was uh after nine days last year we were full 
in the rope and, and it's uh, growing every year and then we have that roping in the fall that uh, we get lots of kids out of the rope. Is it the same concept as the Barrel Junior World where it's just like a Disneyland for barrel racers, this would be like a Disneyland for ropers? Yep, it sure are. They from 8 to, to 21. Well, I'll tell you what, you got to bring really, uh, this is exciting being here. It's always exciting seeing you. Your friend brought you up here, a friend of yours and mine, David Brown yeah. with Prefree. Yeah, well, I come up with David every year, and we really enjoy it. What would you tell these young folks out here that want to get in the roping and everything else? And, and first of all, it's never too late to get into it. What would you tell them as far as some advice to getting into the roping? Well, it's a, it's a good sport, and uh, they can go as far as they want to, according to how they work at it, you know. And... Uh, it's a good event for the boys and girls. Now you always you did the tie down roping, but did you ever team rope much? Oh yeah. You team yeah. rope did that boat. I was healing, and uh, my mare died, and so I kind of quit. But she was a good one. Well, I tell you, what, you got a great deal down there at Karnak, Texas. I tell you what, we're talking about. Uh, 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 coming up the Junior World, just right around the corner with the barrel racers. And then when is your roping deal? Uh, well, it's in June, first June. week in June, yeah. I'd urge everybody, if they want to find out more about it, what's the best way to go to your website? Yes, go to the website. And that is uh, uh, roping, barrel, you know, bar barrelracers.com. Barrel com. That's yeah. it, I should know that. Shame on me. RE, thank you for being a part of Better All Horses right. TV. Love working with you down there. He is a living legend when it comes to roping and thank just you. taking care of the kids and getting adults, kids of all ages and everything into the roping yeah. and the barrel racing. No matter what discipline of riding you do, training, showing, and everyday stress is hard on your horse's legs. Decra Veterinary Products is a leading lameness company that brought you Osphos. Osphos is a quadrinate injection, an intramuscular bisphosphonate to help control the clinical signs of navicular syndrome in horses four years and older. Ask your veterinarian if Osphos is right for your horse. Decra Veterinary Products is a proud sponsor of the American. Rio Equestrian Center is Kansas City's largest equine show facility, offering horses and riders an unmatched experience in competition. We strive to make horse shows enjoyable and offer events that serve the equine community with the spirit of hospitality. So for the best experience in horse competition or to plan your next equine event, go to Rio, the premier show facility in the Midwest. Go to riohorseshows.com or call 913-980-4668. Rio Equestrian Center, located in Oak Grove, Missouri. This segment is brought to you by CSI Saddle Pads. Hello friends, I'm Ernie the Horse Guy. Welcome to this week's uh, Hardy Grub with Chef Mark. I'll tell you what, another one of our quick skillet wonders. One skillet wonder. One skillet wonders, and we're talking about Cowboy Calzone with That's Mark. That's it. Really good. I tell you, tell us. I don't even know what a calzone is. Well, it's an Italian sandwich. Kind of, you take a piece of bread dough, you roll it out flat, and then I got this amber filling with onions and green peppers and onions and mushrooms that you put in it. And you fold it over and you crimp it all down nice, and then you put it in the oven and bake it. Now this isn't what they call a spaghetti western, is it? A little bit. A little bit. So <laughs> we're excited about it. I tell you what, last week's the, the, what you did with the uh, uh, pizza was just unbelievable. Yeah, wasn't unbelievable. it this simple and really good? good. Well, I, hope so, the, I hope these work, work as good. Tell us what you're going to do, and I'm going to get out of your way. Okay. We already got the hamburger brown. Now we're going to go to building the sauce. We're going to build a marinara sauce, kind of like we did last week, but this one's a little bit different because this is more Italian than the other one was. So we got some olive oil in the pan. Here goes the sauce. We're gonna sweat some green peppers, some onions, some mushrooms in this one, and some fresh basil. Sweat that all down nice and cool. Now in the hamburger. Some other great hamburger. Looks like you got the best of hamburger. Yeah, you it spare works it. pretty good. In the hamburger, we're gonna put some green peppers and some onions, mushrooms again, and this time we're going to put just a little bit of jalapenos down. That's where the hot calzones come from. <laughs> you, you probably won't even know they're in there. I just like the flavor of them. To that, we've salt and peppered the hamburger, but we haven't the veggies yet. So we got to salt and pepper the veggies. 
We'll let them cook down for a little bit until they get translucent and we'll build the calzones when they come back. Sounds good. Escort Quality Shavings is your headquarters for the best choice in animal bedding, both retail and wholesale. Providing your business or facility with six different kinds of wood shavings. After 23 years in the animal bedding business, we have gained the ability to uniquely customize our products to your specific needs. Join the many happy customers who have made the best choice for their animals. Visit us today at s4shavings.com. This segment is brought to you by your independent Purina dealers. Hey, welcome back to the Hardy Grub segment of Better Horses TV. Mark, uh, just calzone is the first one. Pretty, pretty simple one. Really good. Now, you have this. This is a cowboy calzone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. Well, let's talk about uh, the finished product we had over there. and uh, Didn't show part of it. Uh, take some frozen roads rolls. Thaw them out. As soon as they get thawed, let them raise up good. And then we rolled them out thin. Then we took the hamburger mixture, put it in it, put a little egg wash around the soft. To Stop there. Up. Stop right there. Tell our <laughs> list viewers what is an egg wash. You take an egg and you put it in a bowl and mix it with a little water, and then you whip it up really fine, and that makes a the pastry glue is what they call it. This makes a glue for everything. And it gives you that golden brown then? Yeah, on, then you on put the, it over the top of it, and after you bake it, that gives it that golden brown color on top of it. What temperature do you normally cook these? Those things? about 350. Really and it, what did it take? Seven, eight minutes maybe? Just Somewhere. until they get a nice golden brown because everything else is You put cooked. all that skillet wonder inside of it, and it comes out tasting great. Yeah. I'm really, really proud of the marinara sauce we put on it. The difference between it and a pizza sauce, I put a little red wine in it in this one and not garlic and I, I just think it uh, just heightens it a bunch and me. i have to uh, confess i had some of that dessert over there with that little frosting oh, on there yeah. really good and that 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 topping really makes it what, i haven't got to try the topping yet oh it's it? really good i tell you what <laughs> it's wait. uh so it's really she good she made this little bunt cake took her quite a while to make it a little bunt cake makes it an upside down uh, angel food cake thing oh she's a cr great cook and we're talking about uh uh, just Tina. does a soup, <laughs> Tina, Tina, we're talking about, just does a super job. And a lot of fun here doing this hearty grub, folks. We take your suggestions, email me at ernie at betterhorsesradio.com. She's going to we'll, let me make dessert one of these days. Well, she she does a great job with it. So Yeah, I know. I had not want to mess with it. But hey, what a wonderful meal. The cow's on. You kind of dressed it up really nice. And uh, thanks for having Better Horses here in your kitchen, Ship Till Mark. Anyway, till next week, happy trails and always ride for the brand. There you go. Got her.